And here I have all the seven billions again. They are in a very simplified way lined up there from the poorest to the richest. Now, how much does the richest billion earn here in dollar per day? Well, let's look here. Ooh, ooh, it's coming up, it's coming up. Ooh, yo, 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 I can't even reach $100 a day. <laughs> then let's look at the middle billion. Who is exactly in the middle? How much do they earn? It'll come, yes, yes, just 10. And then I go over here to the poorest billion. How much do they get? Well, just one. This is the difference of the world today. And the economists, they draw a line which they call the line for extreme poverty, a little above one dollar. That's when you hardly can have enough food to feed the family. You cannot be sure that you have food all days. You know? and, and one billion is clearly below that still. And the second billion is sort of divided by that line. And, and then the others are above it. Now, the poorest people, they can hardly afford to buy shoes. And when they get shoes, the next thing they will save for is bicycle. This is where Andrea and Olivia is. And after bicycle, you will go for the motorbike. And then after the motorbike, it's the car. Huh? And I remember when my family got the first car. It was a small gray Volkswagen. The first thing we did was to go to Norway on holiday, because Norway is so much more beautiful than Sweden. It was a fantastic trip. <laughs> and, and now I'm, I'm in this group, I can go like the richest billion, we can go on holiday by airplane. Of course, there are people who are much richer than the airplane people. Some are so rich, so they're even <laughs> contemplating that they should go as tourists out into space. And the difference in income from the airplane people to the very richest over there is almost as big as it is from the airplane people here, you know, all the way down to the poorest in that side. Now, the most important to remember from this yardstick is this. You know? And I need to show you this, I need my stepladder. You know? Sometimes you need some old, well-functioning technology also. Huh? Here. Uh, I can only reach up. Here they are, now I'm at the top. The problem for us living on $100 a day is that when we look down on those who have $10 or $1, they look equally poor. We can't see the difference. It looks as if everyone is living on the same amount of money. And they say, oh, they are all poor. No, I can assure you, because I've met and talked with people who live down here, and I can assure you that the people down here they know very well how much better life would be if they would move from $1 to $10, 10 times as much income. This is a huge difference. You know. and, and to understand this, this is what Olivia and Andre is trying to do now. Each little step they take along this line here, you know, eh, from the shoes towards the bicycle, Small as it may seem from far distant, make a huge difference in their life. And if Andrea and Olivia would get that bicycle, it would speed them along to better life and better wealth up in this end. Today, Andrea.